today is the day we start pulling wire. We're using a 12.5 gauge high tensile wire, fixed knot, it coat it. And you can see here it's good for cattle, hogs, elk, horse, alpaca, sheep and goats. And this, you can get it in 330 foot rows and 660, which is what we are using. With just a regular piece of metal. I bent it and then took the grinding wheel to get the size I need. That's probably about a quarter inch and about a one inch over, so you're talking about maybe one and a half in there. And it just fits enough for one wire. And then you take it underneath, like I got it here, and you bend it. Gotta do this. All right, guys, you see me here snipping the vertical wire. That gives us more play with that one single wire. You will then see me grab the hammer right here. And I'm what I'm doing is I'm using the claw of the hammer to break free of that cross piece so my dad has a nice clear wire to start wrapping. When you do that, every wire that comes off, we make sure we pick it up so it does not get ate by a cow or worse, stepped on by a cow. A cow stepping on a wire, imagine you stepping on a wire with your bare feet. It will cause injury and excruciating pain. So that's why we take our time and every wire that we snip off, where I pull out with the hammer, we pick it up so this injury can be avoided. Now we do take our time on the corner post. The reason that being is this is the anchor point for the whole wire being stretched. A good wrap will determine on how good your fence is and how tight your fence will be in our opinion. I'm dreaming in dreams Bigger than me Taking my time Giving to me Paint my life into a masterpiece Coloring it Okay guys, I'll show you what we're doing right here. All it is, this goes into that little slot right there. We pull it down for all three. And you can tell, it pulls it tight. Pull the fence good and tight, it will tighten up itself. That is stretched tight. Okay guys, after we get the fence pulled nice and tight, we then go back to the very beginning and we start tacking it up. My dad will push against it and I will hammer the nail all the way in, tacking it up, and we'll do that all the way down and then we'll go in and we'll hit in every single one. God give y'all a better look. We do two, one, 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 two again, one, 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 two. We do that for every single post you see here. Is it overkill? Yes, but we know it's going to be sturdy. Guys, I want to take a moment here to tell y'all that my son is only four years old, helping me and his papaw put up this fence. We are so proud of this little man. Well guys, it's been a long hard day. It, the sun's setting, we got the fence put up and everything. I hope y'all enjoy watching it. Could I enjoy filming it? And I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching this video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Until then, guys, see you soon.